great matchup here. Another young, exciting Iranian. Uzbekistan in the red, Iran will be in the blue. Very explosive start here. Tasmaradov looking for that underhook. Puts that left arm in with the underhook. Wow! And that'll be four. Let's see if it's confirmed for Taz Muradov. No points on the board yet. Again, we can't quite see the uh, judge from where we're situated. It is confirmed. So four and a big storm for Uzbekistan. And this is a guy who kept put points on the board in a hurry. You described it as he was making his appearance onto the arena floor. That's what he has done throughout his entire career. Handful of ways of getting the big throw, the four, and even on occasion, the grand amplify. Such an exciting wrestler to watch. Throwing from all kinds of angles, very athletic, always in great shape. And I think what we're seeing here is whether the point should be awarded to Najati or to Tasmuradov. We take another look at it. A shot. Now what the chairman and the crew need to determine based on the video replay is if the call on the mat stands, if it is four, is there any exposure whatsoever for? It's actually a very unique uh, situation here because both wrestlers are actually making a throw here. So, but and they both shot at the same time. They <laughs> did at the same time, which is remarkable here. So, but the points given to Tasmaradov. So the challenge is lost for Iran. They are without challenges and a five nothing lead for Tasmaradov. Four time Asian champion came away with the silver this year. Look at how Tasmaradov is powering his underhook up. His left arm just getting up, looking for that clinch getting in to position from where he can strike, where he can throw. Nice job of steadily blending the underhook into a brief two-on-one. Now an arm drag there, arm throw, I should say, by the young Iranian, and wow. that's going to get two. So a nice counter by Nejadi, and it's 5-2. Here we have a... Tries to go into that lock. Gut wrench opportunity. Working from parterre, but he can't get anything mustard out of it, and they go back up to their feet. That's a very nice counter from Nijaji. Tasmaradov is very good with his hips, able to move from all positions. Two minutes into this opening period, plenty of offense, a 5-2 lead. This is one of the things that Tasmaradov has to be aware of. When he's powering up his left underhook, it's always it's also opening up for an action from Najati. The high pace from both wrestlers here. A lot of adjustments. I think Nejadi is done here toward the tail end of this first period. He's done a better job of keeping that underhook from getting established. So you, you mentioned the word adjustment frequently in that first period by both wrestlers. And you can tell Najati was very keen on that. And that's the comfort area and what Tajma Radov wants to, to get to and do. Both wrestlers had their moments in that first period. It was Uzbekistan at the start. This was one of those exchanges where it could have went either way, but 
They go for Uzbekistan. Iran lost the challenge, but then a late throw for two. And the young Iranian Nejadi is right back in it, trailing by three, and off the whistle, he's in. Trying to work on the left side of Tazmer Radov. For that head Look at that. lock, and the counter comes right back by Nejadi, and he's within a point. Nejadi on the back. Wow. Nice counter strike by Iran, and four unanswered. He's right back in this bout. Both wrestlers very capable of scoring. It looks like Nijat is being told to put up the pace here in the second round. Look at this. Two wow. more, and all of a sudden, Iran has the lead for the first time. 6 5 advantage. He picks up. Uzbekistan, and out of bounds they go. He'll get one. So how about this burst of energy in the second period from Nejadi, and all of a sudden, Tazma Radov, who felt like he was in control, reeling a little bit. Beautiful wrestling. 7-5, Iran on top. Inside two minutes to go in this bronze medal bout. And Nejadi really impressing me with this high level of wrestling against a guy like Tasmuradov. Here we see Tasmuradov again. Blue head up, blue head up. His left head up, arm underhook. Don't you think that's been the biggest difference? He, Najati's done a really nice job of, of keeping, him, keeping him out of his comfort area. His defense has been so much better in this second period. And this really is one of the key in wrestling, right? To keep the wrestling in the style you prefer, not to not to start wrestling <laughs> your opponent's style. And Najadi is really able to to control him here, applying pressure with his left shoulder. But wow, Tasmaradov always dangerous from all angles, all situations, capable of launching a throw. Tried to capture the head on the last two tries, both times coming up empty. He'll try a little bit of everything, down to 30 seconds to go. 7-5, Nejadi on. And this really is 20 seconds digging deep now. Tasmorados will be looking for every little opportunity here. Triceps squeezed by the Iranian, elbows in. Not wanting any type of underhook type of throw. That is force Uzbekistan to try to go with that headlock. Tries the desperation spin, and that is it. What a second period for the Iranian Ali Reza Nejadi. He goes off for seven unanswered points in that second period against a battle-tested wrestler like Elmarad Tazmuradov. What a way to capture a bronze medal.